Well, we've had Old Man Joe, Palooka Joe, Dementia Joe, Corn Pop Joe. Now we have Nazi Joe. Well, after making a complete ass out of himself in Philadelphia, he doubles down on the trash. I'm Jazz Gonzo, and this is What's Next. This, for the most part, which I think is the fairest way to express it, was fucking trash. Hey, what's up, party people? Jazz Braganzo here, another episode of What's Next, your daily dose of common sense and facts. I hope you're doing well today on this Labor Day. Well, speaking of Labor Day, Labor Day, for those of us who have off today, I'm one of those, um, it's about work. It's about giving or paying respect um, to those who actually work for a living, you know, who put in those long hours, um, who literally bust their asses to pay the mortgage, put food on the table for their kids, to make sure their kids' well-being and they're well-kept, to paying off your car, or paying on your car, shall I say, and of course, paying your taxes. Well, after making a complete and total ass out of himself in Philadelphia in regards to his ode to Nazism, ripped right out of the pages of Orwell, Dementia Boy, or Adolf Joe, doubles down. Let's take a look. This comes out of Bipart. Conservatives react to Biden calling them a threat to the nation. Quote, I go to work, pay my taxes, and don't break the law. There he is. Hail Hydra. Conservatives on social media reacted to President Joe Dementia's recent diversive, divisive, or should I say, trash political speech in which he referred to MAGA Republicans, <clears throat> excuse me, as a threat to the very soul of the nation by sarcastically explaining how they are threats to the nation as well. Quote, I go to work, I work hard, I go to the gym, I hunt, I fish, I spend time with friends and family, I pay my taxes, I don't break the law, I play disc golf, I am a threat to the very soul of this nation, one Twitter wrote. I am a registered nurse nearing retirement. I'm taking, uh, I like taking walks and reading mystery novels. I adopted a baby and now engineering, uh, now, uh, she's now an engineering, engineering student, excuse me, with a scholarship. I pay my taxes. I don't break the law. I am a threat to the very soul of this nation. Another, I work hard, garden, cook, bake, spin, knit, weave, throw pots. I've been married 33 years and have two grown kids. I own businesses and pay taxes. I am a threat to the very soul of the nation. There's a, th yeah, yeah, there's a trend going on here. I'm paying uh, for both of my kids' colleges. I am a threat to the very soul of this nation, another. I'm retired LA. I own my own home. I believe in God. I believe life begins at conception. I enjoy the outdoors, going to the gym, riding my bike. I also teach people to use firearm safety and responsibly. I am a threat to the very soul of this nation. I'm a mom. I take care of my sick mother who can't live on her own. I love dogs and I cook real food for them twice every day. I just bought my first house. I love to decorate and bake goodies for the neighbors. I am a threat to the very soul of this nation. One uh, person uh, tweeted, as you can see, I just want to be left alone. Of course, to the left, looks like we got ourselves another extremist. More. I work 40 hours per week, watch my grandsons after work uh, while my daughter goes to trade school, pays taxes, work part-time for a charity, cook clean for my grandkids, and love my dogs. I am a threat to the very soul of this nation. I am a middle-aged mom. I raised two children whom I taught to love Christ and be kind to others. I bake casseroles. I listen to 80s pop. I play t uh, pay my taxes and don't break the law. I am also a threat to the very soul of this nation. I'm a gay man. I have a black husband. I drove my kids. Uh, I drive. I drop my kids off at school every day. I play cards with my senior mom. I go to church every Sunday. I've always paid my taxes and work every day. I vote Republican. I am pro-life. I'm a very, I'm a threat to the very soul of this nation. I go to work. 
I work two jobs out of school system. I have two dogs and rescue cats. I spend my time with my two granddaughters. I pay taxes and don't break the law. I am a threat to the very soul of this nation. I'm a 63-year-old grandmother. I take care of disabled seniors. My 21-year-old blind, deaf, and dying cat. I don't drink or do drugs. I spend quality time with my kids and grandkids. I'm a threat to the very soul of this nation. On Thursday, Biden stood at, at a podium in front of U.S. Marines at ominous red lighting at Independence National Historical Park in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, where he declared mega Republicans and mega forces and anyone who voted for Trump or supports him a threat to the very soul of this nation. My thoughts. I could have played a little bit of video, basically him chirping off the way he did, but you pretty much get the gist of everything that was just said. These are everyday Joe and Janes, you and me, who do all the above and more or less. But I myself, I own my own home. I have a wonderful wife. I have a good paying job. I pay my taxes. I'm a conservative. I'm pro-life. I believe in God. I have a strong family, good friends, and I am a threat to the very soul of this nation. And with that being said, I'm Jazz Braganzo. This is What's Next. Want to see more just like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe to it, and we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.